Hello and welcome. This is the new retargeting method in Unreal Engine 5 and I presume 5.1. Now they've removed the retargeting manager. What I've done first is opened up a new project. This is the new third person template that comes with Unreal Engine 5. Here we go. Okay. I quite like it. There we go. Right, so what we're going to be doing today is retargeting, let's just go to animations, this running animation, which comes with third person template, and we're going to be placing it onto a Daz Studio Genesis 8.1 character, which is this. Okay, and let me just get rid of the bones a moment. Right, there we go. That's what we're going to be retargeting. Currently, uh, the animation obviously won't work with this. Now, previously, you would click on the Skeleton Editor and, th and there would be a retargeting manager here. That retargeting manager is now gone. It is just gone. They've removed it and there's a new method. So, this is how we're going to do it. Right, let me just close on the window to start off with. Okay. Right, first we need to set up the skeletons and pose them correctly. So we open up the Genesis 8 character and we click up here, show recut targeting options. Um, recursively set them all to animation. Set the hip to animation scaled. And I think that's it for now. Oh, um, down here at the bottom, the IK uh, bones, just set those recursively to skeleton. And there we go. That is now done. Right, next we need to go to the third person mannequin. Um, we'll be using the female mannequin today. Right, and then um, show the retargeting options for this. Uh, this is actually already set up correctly. So, um, no, uh, recursively set all those to animation, I think. Yeah, okay. So it's just like it was before. Um, you, you would, depending on the skeleton you use, and you would set the correct values here. Uh, for the purposes of this, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Right. That's both skeleton set up. Right, now on to the retargeting. I'm going to create a new folder. And we'll call this IK Retargeting. And inside, we need to create two IK rigs. Uh, one for the source, which is going to be the uh, mannequin, and one for the Daz Studio character. So we've got to animation, IK rig, and um, we want to do the mannequin female first. So we we'll call this source, and then we need to create one more. And we choose the Genesis 8 character, and we will call this target. We must create one more item, and that is the retargeter itself. So we scroll down here to IK Retargeter. It will now ask you for uh, the rig to copy animation from. You want to choose the source. And um, we'll just call that new IK Retargeter for now. So first, we click on source, which is our mannequin skeletal mesh. And this is the new IK rig window. And what we want to do is add chains here for the various bones in the skeleton. Now, I'm only going to do basic bones today, but if you want to experiment and make more complex rigs, you can do all that here. 
Um, for example, over here you can uh, create solvers, body mover, limb IK, full body IK. It is very powerful. Anyway, we just want to concentrate on the basics for today. So first I'm going to create uh, a chain for the head. I'm going to create a chain for the spine. Create a chain for the left arm. Create a chain for the right arm. Uh, one for the left leg. And one for the right leg. And that's it for, for today. I, I, I would go further, we can go into the fingers and things. Um, but I'm still experiencing myself and I want to be absolutely sure I know what I'm talking about before I move forward. So anyway, uh, so in this particular skeletal mesh, the neck is joined to the head. So for the head, I'm actually going to go for the neck, and we put in neck zero one, and then head is going to be the end bone. Here, I should have explained this really, here we have a start bone and an end bone for the chain. Right, next we set up the spine. For the spine, for the start bone, I want to do spine one. Spine three is the end bone. Next for the arm bone, I want to go to, is this for left arm, left arm clavicle L. And then I want to end on the hand in this instance, just to simplify things. Um, for the right arm, we need clavicle right and end on the right hand. For the leg, we want to start on thigh and Again, I'm simplifying this, so uh, foot. Then for the right leg, we want thigh R and foot R. There we go. Um, I think that is now set up. Yep, yeah, that's now set up. And we can close that window for a moment. Right, next we want to go click on target, which is going to be our Genesis 8 character. And obviously the bones are slightly different in uh, the Genesis 8 character, but each day, the power of this new retargeter means it, it, it will overcome that. Anyway, so we will set up similar groups to the previous just for ease of use. Again, if you want toes or, or finger bones or etc., you can do that. Um, I'm just doing this for easy use, just to transfer simple animation today. Right, so I think we're all set up. Right, now what I forgot to do on the source file, which we're going to go back and do in a moment, is we need to set on this set retarget root. Now on this DAS character, I believe that's going to be on the hip bone. So here in the, in the list, right click on the hip bone, set retarget root, and then save. And I think we're done with that one. Now what I want to do is go back to the source because I did forget to do it. On the mannequin, uh, set right click on the pelvis, set retarget root. 
I apologize for forgetting that before. Right, I think we're all set up. Right, we can now move on to the IK retargeter we, rec we created earlier. So, this is the new retargeter. Um, here we have our asset browser, which has your animations and probably poses in there. I haven't got any poses at the minute, but I presume they were there. And this tab here, which is chain mapping, we'll get to that in a moment. Um, up here you have your source rig, which you can't change because it's there from creation. Uh, target rig asset. Now this is where you choose the target for your animations. So we'll click on the one we named target, our Genesis 8 character. And then you will see in this window, our Genesis 8 character is here. Um, you can, if you've got multiple meshes for your Genesis 8 skeleton, um, you would choose those here. Um, I'm not going to do that today, so we'll just leave it at the default there. Um, this is what to transfer, retarget Roo, retarget FK, retarget IK. Um, just leave those checked for now. Um, in a later tutorial, once I've had a time to play with all this, I will do some more on that. But for, for now, just leave it as is. Right, let's click. Uh, we go down here, retarget actor offset, which moves uh, your actor around like so. Uh, you can scale your actor like so. I really like that. Uh, and then draw bone size. Right, if we click here on chain mapping, now this is where uh, our chains from each of our files shows up. Um, you can refresh them at any time. If you, for example, make edits, you can refresh them at any time by clicking auto map chains. And as you can see, our target, Genesis 8, all the chains we created are here. And our source chain for our mannequin is here. And you can actually change these if it hasn't done them automatically uh, to whatever you want. Okay, on to how to transfer animation. Right, today we want to do the run animation. So I click on the third person run. And as you can see, it's retargeted. Now it's not perfect, and that is because of the chains I set up. I, I, it wasn't very thorough, um, but it's pretty good. Um, there's probably some problems in the arms, um, maybe around the hips. But anyway, I'm, I'm relatively happy with that. <laughs> right, okay, well, fair enough. Anyway, um, what we're going to do now is export this animation. Like so. And we want to go to Dast to Unreal. And where is Genesis 8 character is? Oh, sorry. We will click on animation there. And that's it. You have a new animation. Which is retargeted to your dash character. Once again, it's not it's very far from perfect. And you would do that by creating a better chain for it. I need to experiment more before I can give you more information on that to uh, how to get a perfect retargeting done but it's, it's not that bad it's not that bad at all right so previously you could re right click on a animation let's find an animation to show you what we say the run animation we've just done and you would right click and there would be a retargeting manager now there is retarget animation assets here now so you would click here, right click on, this time we'll do the idle. So you right click on the idle animation, go to retarget animation assets, duplicate and retarget animation assets. And you get this window pops up. Now from here in the IK retargeter, choose the retargeter that we created earlier. And boom. Like magic, you have your source skeletal mesh and your target skeletal mesh. 
Uh, from here, you can also, if there's other uh, skeletal meshes associated with the skeleton, you can choose those here, like so. We don't need to do that today. Right, and then uh, from here, you can change where your animations will be stored. So we want it to go to DAS, to Unreal, and Animation, since that's where we're storing our DAS animations. Um, and then from there, you could have prefix, suffix, search, replace, just like you could before. And if we click retarget, we should now have an idle animation. It's as simple as that. Now, something that I haven't tried because I'm quite new to this is if we can do this with an animation blueprint. Let's have a look. Oh, I believe we can. So retarget animation assets. So we go to the third person animation blueprint, right click, retarget animation assets, duplicate animation, duplicate and retarget animation blueprint. Sorry. There we go. And we choose our retargeter. And boom. Oh, we change where we want it to go, of course. Uh, there. Yep, and then retarget, and we should, oops. Well, there you go. So hopefully this will be fixed by the time of re release. Uh, I will have a play around with it, see what I can do. Anyway, I hope you find this tutorial useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you've got any questions because I've missed something or went over something too fast, please ask in the comment section and I will try and respond as soon as I possibly can. 